Here we are, another episode. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Jess. <laughs> Back so in my- my- I, I know I had my headphones on and as I was listening to you, I was like, I, don't, I took my them off and I'm like, they're not even working. Like, I'm- Well, and you look You're gorgeous. Too, like, I'm like, well, I wouldn't even if I didn't. No, have my you headphones. always look adorable. Look at those pigtails. And I'm a 54 year old, four year old. <laughs> I, but I love that about you because you're so young at heart and you have, you just have a lot of energy and ideas and creativeness. Even <laughs> your the color orange is bright and cheery. Well, it's also my favorite retro, which is crush. <laughs> orange crush. I love it. Well, cause today we're talking about crushing our goals. We're going to go through an exercise and work through smart goals. Have you ever heard of a smart goal? <laughs> or know what that means? I have heard I mean, of what you're talking about, but I, I yeah. I've learned because I've had to, and I'm, I, I can say I'm not very good at it, but it's something that I can always set. And it just, it makes, instead of just saying, I want to lose 20 pounds, right? Yes. It, it sets like too a overwhelming. Specific, it's, yeah, it's, it's too much. And so, but I have to look at the across stack, the smart goal, S-M-A-R-T's means specific measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. So we set goals for voiceover. Um, An example would be like, uh, I'm getting a new narration demo done. So that's a smart goal in and of itself. But once Mm -hmm. that's done, my narration, I'm going to use my narration. narration We talk for a living. (laughs) I do. I talk for a living. My narration. Um, With my new (laughs) narration. This is what it's like. This is why I edit so well narration demo um a smart goal would be like be specific i'm gonna use my narration demo uh measurable um i will reach out to 50 creative agencies that have worked with my my ideal clients um achievable i i can achieve that i can write creative agencies i can find them um relevant and time bound so specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. So if I plug that in, it would be like uh, with my new narration demo, I'll reach out to 50 creative agencies that have worked with my ideal clients. I will complete this by the end of the first quarter. And that, so that's the relevant and time bound. That's the relevant and time bound, like setting a goal, being very specific about it, making sure it's not like, I'm going to lose 50 pounds in the next week. And then you, you have know, no way to do that. You have no like actionable items. Next yeah. week by watching my diet and eating this instead of this, right? Like I will use my narration demo to reach out to, I feel like maybe 50 creative agencies is a lot. Not realistic. So instead <laughs> of like maybe the first quarter, maybe in January, I decide to reach out to 10. Yeah. So you just, you, being realistic is just looking at it and going, yeah, I'm probably not going to reach out to 50, but yeah. 10. I can definitely do 10 and that's mm-hmm. better than zero, which right. I'm currently doing right now. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. I think that it's, yeah, the realistic thing. Cause like, you know, you, I think it's good to push yourself, but it's also like, I don't know. There's something about when you actually tangible, when you actually like do a goal, you feel motivated. So if you don't, if you put something where you can't reach it, then you never feel like that feeling of like, it's I did it. Yeah, exactly. Right. So how about how about you? What do you think like as you're planning this next year? What is something that you really want to hmm. like with your business? And that doesn't necessarily have to mean like certain clients. That that could mean getting better at editing or because that's on my goal list too. Is like how can I be a better production company? Like how can I make the music sound better? And hmm. I'm so, putting you on the spot. I know. I'm like. Oh. Well, I want to crush it in 2024. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. What is going on? Um, that's not good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I I had a couple thoughts because I was like trying. You know, you get to the towards the end of the year and you start to like think, okay, you know, like, you know, what? How do I see my business into 2024? What things, you know, might I want to put up on my dream board? You know, when yes. we talked about manifestation, dream board, and you know, some things like that. And uh, I feel like. Well, a couple of things, they're voice related. Some are voice related. Some are like, for instance, I, I started doing the, I think I, I shared that with you. Like, um, I'm like a meditation teacher on the inside yeah. timer. Yeah. I think I might've shared it in one of the episodes and 
I made this is such a dork. I made like twelve dollars from like somebody tipped me and some other people like like if you comment when the people people like oh this really helps me go to sleep at night or whatever and I commented back thank you so much or whatever and the more you interact with the people who are listening to your meditation the more you get you know whatever 20 cents (laughs) anyway it's so silly because I haven't done much on there and I only have like three meditations on there so even though it was like very minimal money I'm helping people so I want to create a bunch more meditations And then really interact with people. And then I kind of want to make a course on there because I can make like a teacher's course. Oh, wow. Yeah, about, and I'm trying to figure out how to do this, but I want to make a, because if you do a teacher's course on there, people can, you you can make a little bit more money. And also then I would really interact. And I want it to be about um, body love, health, like your perception of yourself. Oh, that's great with your story. My story, yeah, it feels so me. So I really kind of like, it's almost like a passion project that could also be a little tiny, you know, not income, but like a little extra. And you hate to call it side hustle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. it feels gross. Yeah, so that's something I kind of wanted to like- Passion project. But interestingly, like you said, like having like the, okay, so I keep talking about that. I keep saying I want to do that. And Tony's like, why aren't you doing it? It's like, I get stopped because- I don't know how to get free music to put under my meditation. So I can't like soundstripe.com. I know you've sent me so, soundstripe. I'm writing this down. Soundstripe.com is amazing. Okay. Um, is, are they free? Royalty free. So okay. because you sign up for their platform. Okay. You have royalty free. Artlist.io. Art. Are we going to, we'll put these in the show notes. Yes. Art, Artlist.io. 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 That's a little bit more cinematic kind of thing. Um, I had both. And I feel like if I were a filmmaker, I would probably use Artlist maybe more. But I use Soundstripe all the time because it's a little bit more, has a lot of like business corporate stuff. Right. But I, a lot of times for meditation, you want that kind of like. But it might, uh, yeah. It might work yeah. for meditation. So you can yeah. do trials, trials and download them and see. But yes, that, that will be royalty free. Envato, E N V A T O, mm-hmm. also has some. So I also, because I'm so me, I get stuck. I get stuck because I'm like, I know I'm going to go to those sites and I'm going to, you know, you're really good at that. Like, I'm going to get overwhelmed and I'm going to be like, I don't really understand. And I'm not like, do I have to sign it? Like, I know, and maybe we could do it together or something, but I feel like, this is where it's like, like knowing yourself, right? There's things people could come to me and I'm like, oh, that's easy. And let me show you. And then there's right. things that I get stuck on. And so it's like, uh, maybe that's part of it. It's like knowing where you get stuck and having people or like resources that can help you get unstuck. So you can move to the next, because a lot of times, like you said, you have this goal. Yeah. I never get there. Cause it's like, I keep talking about, I want to do that. I want to do that. I've been talking about doing this thing for a while now and I just can't get to step two. It's like, you got to right. pull it. In but I think you just, times. you just exactly pointed out your problem. So yeah. Make that like a smart goal. So like by the end of December, I will sign up for one of these things, or I will do a trial. I will download three songs that will work three meditations three meditations yeah yeah maybe by the end of january (laughs) okay end of january because this is the end of december yeah yeah uh when when this is airing um but so other than that for like my business um i think i know i know like i have a lot of like regular clients that have come that come to me over and over but i know those are you know they they like they cycle out right you then they start eventually get a new voice and i feel like that's kind of happening like all at once so I know I need to get more of those regular people because when people work with you they want to you know they keep working with you because you treat them so well and they get a quality you know like all the things so I just want to keep getting I want to really grow more of those regular you know clients I mean I have a lot of those right now but that but I know that that's the cycle yeah 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 so how would you set a specific goal about getting more regular clients. Like, I know. Is that too much of a vague want? Like, is that let's not see more specific? specific. How yeah. do you get them? Mm. Like, are you going to reach out to them? Are you going to create more content and tag certain? This is where I shut down. Agencies? I don't know. Yeah. There's a lot of I'm different bad ways. bad at this. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. You're doing real talk Tuesdays. You're showing up online. So I am doing this. Um, 
I do. I, I do put fun. content out there. You know, I, I, I try to put content out there. It's exhausting sometimes, you know, completely exhausting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, oh. I think I'm going to be anti-content for 2024. <laughs> well, and then you're like, can I, can you stop? Because then you're really like losing momentum, you know, like, I, like I, I the algorithm is like, if you just keep posting, you just yes. keep posting, yes. people are engaging. Yeah. Oh. I do. I notice that. And so I kind of like, I don't feel almost feel like you feel almost trapped in it. Like you kind of have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Is it That's... a necessary evil? That's my question. That's a and... whole nother episode. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do the meditation one then. That's the only one that I could think of. Okay. Better. Meditation. So you're going to do how many? I'm going to write this down. I'm going to okay. write this. Yeah. Accountability. Down. We did an episode on that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Michelle. It all goes back to former episodes um we'll record three two, two I'm, I'm being realistic jess <laughs> okay. two two how long is the minute how long are the meditations i try to keep them around 10 minutes two 10 minute meditations with music yes oh they have to have music for sure okay with music so that's specific it's achievable it's relevant because it's something that is in your wheelhouse. You're really good at it. Um, we need measurable and time bound. What I'd is measurable? by the end of January? By the end of January, 2024. Yes. Not 2025. No. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> Michelle will record two 10 minute meditations with music by the end of January, 2024. And should I also yeah. say, and upload them to, cause that's a whole process to upload them to the, the insight timer platform. Okay, so Michelle will record two 10-minute meditations with music and upload them to Insight Timer platform by the end of January 2024. Okay. There you go. There's your smart goal. All right. The so now I have to push goal. through the finding the music and the, like make it, chop it into littler baby steps, right? Yes, That's and you can make those into smart goals too. You know, I will look at Soundstripe and art list by the end of next week. You know what I mean? Like you just break it down even smaller. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, keep that to, be smart goal. to be continued, I'll let you know how that goes. Mm -hmm. How about you for the new year? Yeah. It's going to be 2024. What do you well, want I think to that's happen? Where, that's where I'm going to do with, with my narration demo. Um, oh, so that was your goal. I wasn't gonna, sure if you were making just a, like an example. I no, okay. I am. I am going to re record. I'm not sure when exactly we're going to record because we're not like setting a specific date we're making sure that we have the different categories and the script making sure that's all spot on before we record so i'm not going to rush that process but i'm okay. hoping january we should be able to do that so that's what i was thinking like first quarter like once okay. i have that narration demo done i said 50 creative agencies i'm not going to do 50 if i reach out to 10 creative agencies because be I want to vet them to make sure that they're working with like my ideal clients, because mm -hmm. this next year, my goal is to work with innovative future thinking um, companies, because that's, that's my personal core values is always mm -hmm. um, beauty and design, but in a futuristic kind of thing, not like Jetson's futuristic. Yeah, but, no, I know what you mean. You no know, companies huh. like Tesla or... Yeah. 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 Um, so that's a 2024 goal. Panasonic LG. Thought, um, what if I would like to do an episode in 2024 where oh, you tell oh. me, where you teach me how to vet, because I don't know how to do that. How to vet? Yes. And that would not be in this episode, but that would be um, a future episode. Like, how do you even do that? Like, I, I am very lost when it comes to finding leads and how to even find. And I've heard a lot of people say that recently where they're like, I... I used to just to find leads and it would go into nowhere, but now I vet my leads and I, and I'm getting more like more of the spaghetti to stick to the wall kind of thing. So oh, maybe we should interview them. <laughs> You're like, I don't know. I, I'm just saying I, I mean, I'm going to do. I don't know. I, I'm still throwing spaghetti at the wall. Okay. All right. Uh, no, I, um, yeah, we can, we can talk more about that okay. for sure. We've already talked in 2023 about how this year has been a little wonky, right? Yeah. Uh, and so I don't know. Are, are we looking into the new year with like hope that it's kind of like going to rise up? We be... always look to the future with hope. 
Yeah. Okay. So we're looking to 2024 to rise up and maybe the economy will get a little better. Okay. Maybe. Crush it. What? Oh, we're going to crush it. Crush you see it. what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> I got to do the, raise the roof because I'm to be the complete dork that I am. <laughs> <laughs> true it will come in and like click a button and all my lights like yes. blink and yes. crazy i can't do it because i'm not true it remember we we recorded that and true it was I like i think we did yeah, yeah we did that yeah. was so funny that was awesome yeah sorry I, that was the side thing i love true it <laughs> i don't know him but i love him he's, he the is, best. he's, he's a treat he's, yep he's he's <laughs> and on that note we wish you a very happy new year thanks for watching Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.